everyone and welcome back to the HCW YouTube channel and welcome back to another UK indie show review. I'm dying a man for you and this is the bastard. How are you doing? I'm good, man. I'm much healthier than you right now. Yeah, like it's not even like I can't even hold you. I just sound awful and uh, my face looks awful. That's prior to this. Um, but we are here to um, discuss BCCW's Halloween Mayhem 2, um, which was at a venue. Um, I can't remember the name. Ex service and Sedley's ex service yeah, man's it. club. Um, which was a good old fashioned social club. I loved it. Um yeah. and I got to sit next to you for the whole show. What you a did? privilege for us both. I got I got you I got you a nice little side seat next to me so that you could have a really good view yeah. and interaction with all the workers. Yeah, it seemed like I was halfway through the show and then I realised what happened. I was like, you bastard. <laughs> Just like two matches in a row, I've oh, got abuse. Um, but we will kick off um, with the reigning defending Black Country champion, um, CJ Rollins. We actually won't kick off there because we had a nice um, nice showing of R RC Cass playing. And it just seemed like he didn't know who he just wanted to say hi. Was pretty much <laughs> the general gist of it. Yeah, he, it, appeared, it appeared that he just went, ah, oh, fuck it, I'm at a social club, I want to come out yeah. and say hello. So he did. And he had a nice uh, pint of Madri, the uh, the one that you were trying to sell to me oh. um, and everyone viewer. Oh. It was nice. Madri was beautiful there, beautiful. And then out of nowhere, here comes Steve Keane um, with his fantastic accent. Yeah, from uh, Dudley. No, well, is it Dudley, Dudley Miss Missouri, Miss Mississippi? It is Dudley Mississippi. Mississippi I think Dudley. it is. Yeah. Either way, Dudley, Massachusetts. That's the one. That's where he's um, from, Dudley, Massachusetts. So he had some fantastic accent. RC Cows just called him out on it straight away. He was all the fuck is you doing? Um, <laughs> and then he basically said, "You're obviously you know you're going to be fighting CJ Rollins." Called him out. Um, by the time that started, RC Cows had down the point he was given during the start of him coming out to the ring. Yeah, he loved the man. You know, it's a working man's club, and he was there to work. And he worked that beer well. He worked that beer well. Um, so it was a good match. Um, CJ started off by just showing off against Steve Keen. Um, headlock, turnbuckle shots, just kind of outworking him. Keen then took over. Um, he did a fantastic bat body on the apron. We all love it because it's the hardest part of the ring. <laughs> um, then he chopped him. He tried to chop him, and it was the weakest chops in the history of wrestling. Oh, mate, they were hilarious. Weren't they? Yeah, it was just like. <laughs> like you couldn't even with everybody being quiet at our position we was right by him you couldn't hear a thing yeah it was great <laughs> so uh cj rollins then decided to chop his face off um then yeah. steve king had a few big moves at that point but uh, more bat body drops the specialist of the bat body drop i'm going to call him from now on um <laughs> he did a spring. yeah he did a sidewalk slam onto his knee um it started going a bit back and forth um Big speed um, spear via CJ. Um, then um, he hit an RKO, uh, Mr. Keen, because, you know, everyone loves an RKO. Um, we'll call it a cutter. Um, yeah, we'll just, we'll just go with cutter because it wasn't quite RKO worthy. Yeah. And then um, CJ hit a stalling German, which just was incredible because Steve Keen's a big guy. Yeah. Um, and then I called it a sidewinder slam. I don't know wh what he actually calls his um, finisher. Um, TJ, where it's like it's like a, weir a weird version of fall away slam into the end of the days kind of uh, variant. Yeah, I'm I'm okay with that. Sidewinder slam, weird, weird variant yeah. name. Yeah, why not? Um, and he picked up the win. All right, it two and three quarter stars. It was a good um, start to the show. Yeah, it was a it was a fun little fun starter. To be fair, like you say, with um, Commissioner Chaos coming out, um, just to have a drink, evidently, and. Uh, Calling out Steve Keane for his uh, amazing accent. Anybody doubts the accent, there's something wrong with you because yeah. he's definitely from Dudley, Massachusetts. Don't yeah. anyone saying otherwise. But it was a fun match. It really yeah. was. Like Steve Keane actually put up a fight as well, which I think I think was quite a surprise with uh, CJ. To be fair, I don't think he expected the fight from yeah. Steve Keane. Either. Especially the showing off at the start of the match. I don't think he was yeah. as prepared to Steve King to actually just bring it to him, except for the chops. Yeah. Yeah, them chops. That was his downfall. That was poor. So poor. Yeah. <laughs> and that's why he lost. Um, CJ <laughs> Rollins continues to uh, be on a roll in BCCW, but that may end um, at the next show. Do you like the segue? Uh, 
Xmas gimmick trick or treat, I think it's called. Um, I'm going to go with that. Naughty or nice. Naughty or nice. It's Halloween trick or treat. That's the one I'm thinking of. God damn it. Um, Halloween throwing you. Yeah. He's fighting none other than Chris Ridgway. Um, And it's going to be a fight. Silly. It's going to be great. The difference, um, no no disrespect for Stephen Keane, but the difference in competition for CJ come Christmas is phenomenal. It's going to be a hell of a fight. Yeah, this man fights Noah regularly. You know, it's um, yep. Chris Ridgway is nothing. It's, it, CJ's got to be worried, I'll be honest. Like, this is a bit like... He's obviously... He beat Joseph Connors, um, which is a sad, sad time. But I feel like Chris <laughs> Ridgway is a complete different animal. Chris Ridgway's a lot more violent. Yeah, he's a different He's a different class, isn't he, than um, Joseph Connors. Um, Joseph Connors is an amazing, amazing workout. Absolutely fantastic. Ridgeway's just got that extra bit of violence in him, and CJ, <laughs> CJ, CJ does as well. People got to remember, like he can really bring it in. He wants competition. He keep asking for more, uh, bigger, stronger competition. Um, yeah, you did well. <laughs> you asked for it. You got it. <laughs> the commissioner gave it to him. Yeah. So and it's going to be great Christmas. Going to be a banger of a match, and I'm looking forward to it. Um, we'll move on to a match where it started to go south for me. Um, so we had the fantastic team of Clarkwood. <laughs> I always love Clarkwood, no matter what match they're in. They're, like, they're yeah. just like the ultimate tag team, as in like, they know to put on a great tag team match. And they were facing Redacted. Um, if anyone wants to know why Redacted is called Redacted, ask him. Um... <laughs> so Redacted came to the ring. He started talking crap um, about the fans. Then he suddenly found out where I was, and I then I realised I know why I was there in that seat because he knew I'd be there. Um, he called the podcast shit. Um, not to mention his fantastic uh, record, which I'm not allowed to mention. You can mention it if you like, because um, he's did you know. Well, let let let's start with. I refuse to refer to him as redacted. Yeah. TJ Sky. God damn it. <laughs> he's one of the best talents in BCCW. Yeah. And he's been getting nothing but shit. He's, be, he's been getting grief constantly. Hold yeah, up. It, it's, <laughs> mate, whoa, look, whoa. I'm sorry, but <laughs> this is where we're at now. It's, it's starting to come to light now. The conspiracy built up against... TJ Sky, it's it's got to come to an end at some point. Were you part of the conspiracy last show? I'm sure. I am, yeah. Have you spoke to Mister Redacted, and now you're you're trying to get inside so he doesn't call you out? Oh, uh, mate, I, hey, I'm a bastard. I call it as I see, and as I see it right now, he made me see the light. He did because everything he's been up against has been shit. Every it's Explain. always against him. It's always turning on him. It's 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 not fair. It's about time he had a fair shot. Give me examples of his unfairness. Well, let's start with his title opportunities have ended up being multi-mans. He's never had a legit one-on-one. Okay. That's he, he deserves it. He definitely deserves it. How can we deserve it? Had, he had a <laughs> one-on-one match against Shane Hooker for the yeah. number one contender. Number one contender's match. And then the commission coming out and went, nah, I'm going to screw with TJ. And stuck uh, Douglas in there to ruin his plans. Wasn't he telling people to suck it during the whole point before that? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Um, But yeah, no, uh, Redacted deserves everything Redacted gets. (laughs) Um, And because you're not going to mention it because you've now become my... Look, my Luke Douglas bias has rubbed on you and uh, Mr. Sky. Um, (laughs) So Mr. Sky... Oh, I've said his name! Redacted is six and zero. Let's move on. Um, You can beep it. So Redacted... (laughs) I ain't going to edit. I I don't edit stuff. Uh, Redacted um, called out the podcast. um, Called a shit. I shouldn't mention anything. Unless... um, Except for his fantastic dropkick that he delivered on this show. I'm allowed to mention that. Um, So Redacted had a mystery tag team partner, which was the monster that is Matlock. Not a bad mystery tag team partner. What a partner to bring in. Yeah, you know, he, he did well. Um, <laughs> so, Clarkwood decided to pick up the weak link and um, worked over um, Redacted for a lot of this match. Uh, <laughs> eventually, um, um, Redacted got the man mounting Matlock in, coming in and Matlock just took care of Clarkwood for a lot of this match. Um, Redacted tagged back in because he thought, um, you know, the 
have been beaten down. This is my time. He started going, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Um, and then they started cutting off the ring for the clocks. Um, so they started working a bit. There was a few cheating tactics, obviously typical heel wrestling. Um, getting the referee, Adam losing control as usual. Um, <laughs> Terrible so, zebra work. Yeah. Um, then... Out of nowhere, there was some fa- malfunction at the junction, which is one of my favourite uh, wrestling scenes, as redacted hit Matlock. Um, they started to work on both Sky and Matlock at that point. Clarks were just on top. Um, they hit a big um, flog slash on the Clark as well, um, which was going to be a big pin. And then out of nowhere, just a lot of crap happened, and then Adam decided to DQ Matlock. Well, you you was obviously too distracted by TJ's beautiful yeah. appearance that you didn't pick up the fact that um, the clerks clearly was cheating. Okay. So Matlock had to had to um, deal with uh, Mark and um, he basically choked him out. <laughs> I did also write here, Redact- uh, Redacted nearly died. Um, for, there was a bit <laughs> where he, he nearly died uh, at one point. It was a minor death. I don't think it was a full-on death. It was just... He knew what he was doing. He did it to lead him into a false sense of security. Yeah. That's what he did. And uh, they gave Matt like, the chance then to take advantage. And, and he um, nearly killed a man. <laughs> yeah, but realistically, what you got to look at it is Matt Lock didn't do anything wrong. The referee just counted wrong. Matt Lock had the five count and Adam clearly didn't count properly. Yeah. And Matt Lock couldn't hear it. So he didn't have a chance to break the uh, hole. Ah, so it's more BCCW screwing uh, redacted. I'm, I'm just uh, saying, okay, just yeah, yeah. saying. Yeah. If it makes redacted feel better, I rate this three and a quarter stars, and this was my match of the night. Uh, it was great, but it? unfortunately, it will never go against his name because he's known as redacted. So, <laughs> but yeah, no, it was a very good match. Anything that involves Clarkwood, any, I'd like we, I'd take the piss, but anything that involves redacted is always fun. Uh, yeah. and it was fun to see Matlock um, to add a different like element. Just an absolute behemoth. Yeah, like all, all jokes aside and everything, like TJ bringing in Matlock like that is a hell of a force. Like you pointed out last week when we was talking, the, well, the last time we was on, yeah. we was talking about the preview for it. What if he brings somebody out that's like a monster like Diesel? He's the yeah. new Sean and Diesel. And then he obviously pays attention. <laughs> yeah, so basically he knows that I know stuff. He knows that you know that he knows you know. Yep. So if he wants to call me up for uh for some advice, you know, not to end up seven and zero, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna get my shit canned. Anyway, um, next up we had a match which I very much look forward to from a standpoint of um, it was supposed to be George versus uh Mr. Hunter, um, yep. but Mr. Hunter couldn't be there unfortunately. Um, so out of nowhere, we had George Lydon versus Edgar Adams. Um, for anyone that's seen this match in Kamikaze, like these two wrestled in Kamikaze a few times, they put on banging performances and they did it here as well. Um, and it was nice because Edgar's not as known for this crowd. Obviously it's his debut. Yep. Um, but they got proper behind him at the, by the end of it. Cause he, he knows how to get people behind him because yep. he just runs around like an absolute maniac. He's called the Speed Demon for yeah. a reason. He's, um, he's incredible. But yeah, so this started with a kind of filling out process, both working out each other. Um, George then just threw some lightning strikes out of nowhere, just kind of a level um, Edgar. Um, both guys were incredible, like stupid athletic moves at that point. <laughs> but you know, when you just look at something and go, that shouldn't be happening. And yeah, then that out doesn't of... even have a name. Yeah. So and name. then there were springboards were happening. And then out of nowhere, or you ask me something, I turn around and all I hear is, right, wrestle, what do you think of that? And I'm like, what the, why am I getting abused? Um, <laughs> I think that's mainly because George, um, I keep calling Alex Connors the real world champion because he lost the title. Um, uh, but Carl turned it around and George claimed victory it's all canon here uh, See, it's, it's all you. you you're the one that clearly he's causing all the trouble i'm the one everywhere. that's causing the bias and all um george hit a fantastic tajiri elbow uh, and that's what i will always know it as um because yeah. it's just it looks so good the hen then he was just going through his ja- japanese repertoire mission uko drivers dragon suplexes and then he um he ended up um, beating edgar with a tiger suplex tiger driver mm-hmm. sorry um i read it three stars because it was fun to watch because they're crazy 
it's it's brilliant. Like I've seen this I've seen this match match on footage before. Yeah. Never in person. And uh like you said, it's the first time for Edgar. Um it's not his debut, he debuted at the Rumble, but this yeah, is his first singles match, yeah. His first singles match. And obviously the crowd don't really know him. Um he's new to it, he's new to the guy to the people of ECCW. Um and it was it was it was just incredible. they these two guys are fantastic, absolutely fantastic, and they really did put on a show for us. Um, yeah, yeah, I can't really say much more than that. I absolutely love this match. Yeah, loved it was it. it was so good. Um, both guys just no. It's one of them. You have a lot of people that can um, when they go against that certain person, they always have a banging match. And I feel like George versus Egg is always going to be that kind of level. Yeah, and it's silly because they're both so young. So you know they're probably going to face each other another fifty times in their career. They're still, they're still kids, really. Yeah. If you think about it, you know, I'm sure like, George it's, is twenty. It's mental. Yeah, absolute mental. Ah, uh, but yeah. So George picked up a win. That's another win for him at uh, BCCW. So he's um, staking a claim, and I believe Edgar must have staked a claim by just how great that match was. Um, yeah. yeah. So hopefully we see him back. Um, just for me. He's hoping. Um, but we move on to a match after the interval, um, which was a match which. Was wasn't announced. Um, two guys people wouldn't have known, um, which was Coach D. Or it here, I can't remember his full name. I do apologise. It's Dope Coach D. D Lo. D Lo. That's it. Versus Scott Grimm. Ba 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 bad. Um, so this Was I had Leo actually. My bad. Um, in my, in my <laughs> it, yeah, I, it's on my website and also it's on the channel and no one cares about this video. Um, <laughs> But yeah, so I was really surprised by this match because when you first see the two guys, it was kind of like, I don't know who these guys are. Um, what's happening? Um, but they put on, like we discussed it after, it's a proper like mega slam like camp kind of like, they knew how to work a crowd. Yeah. Um, and the crowd got well behind it. Yeah. This, was, this wasn't one of their matches. It, well, again, like you, start from the beginning of this, they come out and we're all like, yeah. who are you? <laughs> yeah. But and that's not being disrespectful in any way. We don't know them. I've not seen them on the circuit. I've not seen them around before. Um, but they came out and they won everyone. They won everyone over and they put on what we were saying earlier. They, they put on a camp show. Yeah, and it was perfect. And Sedgley ate it up. Yeah, completely it ate it up. Perfect for it. Like um, so basically, Scott Grimm was the bigger of the two, but he couldn't get the upper hand for a lot of it. Um. Coach was kind of like that kind of lush being cocky, winding them up, and then out of nowhere, Scott Grimm had had enough of his shit as well, right here, and started beating the absolute crap out of him. Um, and he hit not one but two big boss man slams uh, yes. to pick up the win. Um, all right, big boss man slam. Dot dot dot. Bigger boss man slam. That's what. I love a big boss man slam, and when yeah. it's a bigger big boss yeah. man slam, it's even better. Um, all right, two and a half stars. I just really enjoyed it. it was a it was a good match. It was not what it I was, expected. Yeah, it was a fun match. I spoke to a few different people after the, after the show, and everyone said the same thing. There was like it wasn't the most technical match you'd ever gone to see, but it was great. They all enjoyed it. Yeah, it was fun, and that's you know we put smiles on people's faces. And that's what wrestling's about. Like, it, it doesn't need to be people like doing every move under the in the sun, uh, doing flips, doing dives, flipping fifteen kickouts. As long as you enjoy the match and the crowd well, are well beyond it, that's all you need. Yeah, you think about it as well. It was it was that match that the card needed as well because yeah. we'd seen CJ and Steve Keen. Mm. They were hard hitting, apart from Steve's chops. And then you you got to see. The tag match, which was entertaining, and it's the Clarks and TJ Sky, Redacted. big Matlocks in there. It yeah. was great. It was everything it needed to be. You had George and Edgar right before this, which was phenomenal. This was the perfect type of match for right now where yeah. we was at, and it worked brilliantly. Yeah. So credit to both guys. Um, yeah. I will find, try and find them and tag them in the video. Um, then we move on to a match which was uh, built for me. Um, so it was the reigning King Division champion, Luke Douglas versus um, Jack Ball. Anyone that wants to know what's happened within these two guys, watch the preview because we go through it quite a lot. Because there's a lot of stuff, bad like bad blood between these two. <laughs> um, so this was a no disqualification match. So yeah. 
obviously, in a nose disqualification, no holds barred match, um, Luke Douglas had a crowbar, um, which you don't see often. Now, no. do we remember what Jack Ball brought out? Oh, Jack Ball brought the heavy artillery. Jack Ball brought some beer mats. <laughs> and, hey, and he knew how to use them. Yeah, he, he was throwing them like flipping hur- hurricanes. Like, flipping, like, <laughs> yeah, that ninja stars are going galore. It was great. Yeah, um, this I didn't write many notes on because I was really enjoying it, and I was at that point I drank a few. Um, but <laughs> there was beer, beer mats, crowbars. The fans then started to beat the absolute crap out of Jack. Um, but at least it was it was legal because it was no disqualification. It wasn't one of these ones where like it's a normal match and for some reason the ref lets it go when a fan punches someone. But everyone was chopping Jack Ball. Then out of nowhere, <laughs> one young kid did a regal punch to his gut, like. <laughs> And then that was the end of the the participation from the audience. <laughs> Might as well just pulled out a brass nook. <laughs> um, then Jack used the beer mats to their fullest stream by doing the good old paper cuts, which, you know, you, with paper, is it's harsh, yeah. let alone cardboard. Uh, um, it wasn't just on the hands either, it was in the mouth. Yeah. Not fun. And then they started using um, some DVDs. Um, not Death Valley Drivers, but actual DVDs. Um, yeah. Some of them were yours, supposedly. They're straight from the merch table. Were they show... What what DVDs were they? Like... Um, they were merch. Just random, <laughs> like, uh, base ECW shows. There was there was a bit... There's a mixture of everything. There was okay. some, um, some branded DVD merch that was sitting Redacted there. Redacted merch, yeah. Uh, yeah. That you know, there was all kinds of there was all kinds of stuff there. Is and any of it usable now? Thought, you know what? This will be fun. <laughs> was any of it usable now? Yeah, <laughs> because it it worked on the night. He hit um, Luke Douglas hit a DVD on the DVD, so a Death Valley driver onto the DVDs. I like that. I don't know if they meant <laughs> that, but I enjoyed it. Um, and then suddenly um, there was a lot of shenanigans. I writ here that um, Adams is on the take. So I'm guessing something dodgy happened during the match. And Adams is on the take. And then Luke, out of nowhere, did pick up the win. Um, yeah. So he's re- finally ended this blood blood feud, I would assume. But Jake Ball is Jake Ball. So here, uh, Jack Ball, goddammit. He could have come out of nowhere and just blindsided him again. I wrote it three stars. It was a fun match um, to end the, I would assume, to end the rivalry. Well... I mean, as far as Luke Douglas is concerned, I'd, I'd assume that's yeah. where we're at. But it's Jack Ball. I mean, you know, we never know what that man's going to do. I mean, he brought beer mats to a hardcore match. Like, <laughs> what the... F- <laughs> yeah, that just wasn't the smartest tactic in the end, was it, really, thinking about it? I mean, it, it worked a crowbar. to a degree. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, the crowbar versus beer mats, I know where I'd like to go. Also, the like crowbar to... glitched, if you remember. Like, I don't know if you remember, it was in the ring, and then suddenly no one touched it, and he just slid out the ring, just like glitched. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. He do- the crowbar attacked a fan, didn't he? Yeah. He just jumped. It made no sense. <laughs> like, no one was near it. It was just like it was there, and it was, it was like, what's happening then, Poltergeist? Halloween. Yeah, there were some problems in the Matrix at that yeah. point, obviously. It was like a WWE 2K glitch, where you hit the ring at the wrong <laughs> angle, and the sledgehammer pops up for no reason. <laughs> well, like, I like to think Douglas did that as a little nod to our uh, car- crowbar Carson Bailey. It was just like, look, you can't be here. But your tools can. Yeah. So, uh, fun. <laughs> oh, sorry, I might. I needed to cough, and then it did. I nearly died off. But yeah, it was a good night, good end of the um to the show. Um, yeah. It was a good vibe as well. I like social clubs, like the proper like in between where the rings there, and everyone's so close, and there's a lot of beer yeah. flowing. It, it it was. It was a really fun night. It, I don't know what I expected, but it wasn't it. Yeah. <laughs> And it was, I really enjoyed myself. It was a really good night. And what I'm really proud of you of, you didn't accidentally cut off the power. You had a reader, which you could have cut off the power, but you did well. Well, it, it, we'll, we'll let people in on that one. Yeah, the um, social club have got one of those audio monitors. And if you hit a certain level, everything gets cut. And we nearly hit that level several times. What's worse is someone nearly hit the level on a slam or a stamp or something the, on it. The boss man slam, the bigger <laughs> boss man slam, hit the hit the red bar on the audio level, and I was like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> <The boss laughs> Luckily, that was the finish. <laughs> of 
that could have been bad. <laughs> but, but, but no, bad. We, we did well. We did well. It was it was great, and we didn't cut the power to the building. Yeah, which, which would have been good. really awkward, especially before a main event. Um, then you could have called it a lights out match, though. That would have been perfect. Um, but that's the end of the review. Great show. Um, we move on to Xmas gimmicks. Naughty or Naughty nice. Or nice. Yeah, there you go. I nearly said trick or treat again. <laughs> um, I've actually managed. Um, I've got two people coming with me this time. Um, hey, he's got so, a friend. Uh, yeah, I've got friends. Uh, don't don't ask how. Um, <laughs> you just found them. I need to, you know, redacted might fight me. <laughs> <laughs> just in case. Yeah, to be up. fair, it's in Tipton. You know, it's anything happens in Tipton, mate. Yep. So you never know what will happen to you. Yeah, I, I don't want it. <laughs> I know who to, I know who redacted friends with, and they're friends with me. So this will be all. <laughs> 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 no, no, no. Um, but anyway, as usual, like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, tickets for pieces will be in the um, description, which are very limited, if I remember. Um, which is always nice for you guys. Limited, it's, it's and great. it's a month away. More than a month. We're like, it, whenever, whenever we can go, yeah, it's limited tickets, and people go, is it? And we go, Mm-mm. yep, because it always is. Because we we are nice on our sh- on these shows, the nights of the shows. We always give the people that are there. A chance to get some early bird tickets, mm-hmm. and uh, if you buy them on the night, you get them cheaper than you would do normally. Because obviously, it's a thank you for yeah, showing yeah. your dedication to us and being there, and we love you. I mean, I don't. I hate everybody, but everyone else. Yeah, I figured that out, except for Redacted. Um, <laughs> outrageous bias. Like this channel's never seen such bias before. Um, I know. It's terrible. Yeah. I do apologise. Yeah, you should. Anyway. Uh... <laughs> Oh, God, I'm dying. Anyway, that's it from me. Goodbye. And from you. Goodbye. Sayonara, everyone. Let me end this recording by clicking the recording stop button. (laughs) Oh, yeah.